Sometimes it can be quite helpful to save an audio file together with all its settings, such as the plugins you used and the way you configured them. That's why WaveLab 7 includes a function called Save File With, which saves the audio file along with the master section settings without having to render the file first. This is a huge time saver. You can come back to the audio file at a later stage and you don't have to set up all the plugins a second time. WaveLab 7 also features many plugins taken from our post-production software, Nuendo. There's the post filter, which we use here as a low cut filter to reduce lower frequencies, such as footfall sound. The post filter can also be used to remove interfering frequencies and their overtones. This is only possible due to its very steep broadband filter when combined with the invert function. Studio EQ, which is known from Cubase, makes sound sculpting really easy. There's also the multiband compressor, which allows you to add punch to different frequency bands. It comes with a number of presets that are great choices for most situations. The stereo enhancer modifies the stereo width of a signal. The maximizer makes the signal louder and fuller. And, of course, more than 20 other of our finest VST3 plugins are also included in WaveLab 7. The audio montage is the perfect place for arranging audio material which can then be exported to CD. Audio montage lets you use sound effects in many ways. You may want to use the master section for applying effects to the entire audio montage. But, of course, you can also add effects to individual tracks. You can easily apply different effects to each clip by using the Plug-in tab. It's also possible to rearrange the order of the plugins. When several clips are moved over each other, WaveLab automatically generates crossfades. Parameters like fade length and envelope curve can also be specified. Using the control key command lets you define the crossfade area precisely. The crossfade length can then be changed when using the shift key command. Now let's create an audio CD. We'll be needing markers to separate single audio files for the CD's tracklist. Markers can be applied individually on single clips with the marker tab. This can also be done automatically using the CD wizard. Here you can specify the break length between tracks or when markers or transitional markers can be set. Now we can export the project, for example, as an audio CD. WaveLab 7 automatically checks for the compilation's format validity. As you can see, the burning dialog shows numerous options, such as the author's name and the saving path for an image. Let's create a file using the popular DDP format. WaveLab's batch processing tool achieves a large number of processing steps in one go. Thanks to the new multi-processing capability, all the batch processing runs in the background, and other editing tasks can still be attended to. Now let's change from the audio montage workspace to the batch processing workspace and create a new working area. Now choose a folder with the audio files that need to be processed and drag them into the batch processing working area. You can add to the functionality using the process list and all the plugins you choose to add can be configured individually. Then select the output format and the saving path for the files. Start the batch process by clicking the Start button. 